Shalom, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. And it seems like lately it's been very um, a hot topic to talk about the passport bros. Women, I guess black women in particular, are very reactive when it comes to the passport bros. And um, the guy who started the passport bros happens to be a young black man who, um, very young, like 25 or something like that who um caught on early to the trend that that is the west and um decided that he doesn't want to have any part of it and he wants to find a wife that more so fits his needs or a woman that more so fits his needs as a man and um he's getting a lot of backlash because of it he got um slandered in some type of way online and brazil ended up making him have to leave but he had to leave brazil so it's like a lot of fire under this but my personal opinion is that any man who desires submission respect um consistency accountability things that most women are not willing to give in the west they should definitely get their passports and get up out of here and go find you a wife who gonna listen. <laughs> what? Of course. Okay, so let's just get right up into this and see what they're talking about. Me to like hold on to that family bond if everybody's taking their families to other countries and obviously you can build a community there, but like y'all know what I'm saying. But you know I'm what, Kayla, you're right yeah. about that, but we gotta be honest that um, women of today are not interested in that. They're not interested in that tradition. Oh. So the men are saying they want that and if they can find it, now this is me with my thoughts of it being their preference. If they can find it where in these other countries and they can marry a woman that really love them and truly wants to be with them, I don't see anything wrong with that. But I do think that there's some kind of something that seeped in that's making it <clears throat> ugly. Cause I, I just thought it was about being married. Cause if it's not about being married, then why do it? Why, you know, like you said, why bother? You just, you know, you just spending money on three or fours. Why you don't need to do that. Mm -hmm. But um, I just think that if a black man is meeting another woman, that's still almost the same thing wherever they're living. They, they can still be a part of our culture if they decide to come back here or whatever. He's still mm -hmm. producing um, black kids. So we can still live on in that way. But I just don't think American women right now are interested in that type of traditional life. And she is absolutely correct. Um, black women in the West, in America, are not interested in being traditional. Like, personally, my husband doesn't want me to work. He doesn't want me to, um, you know, be answering to anybody else, which makes sense. He wants me to um, stay home, be a mother, homeschool the children. He wants me to, when he, whenever he needs something taken care of, he trusts me to be able to take care of those things. And it's like... Um, we're calling this like women will call this old fashioned or you're his slave or um, it's been different things that's been said. But it's like this is just how women should be. Men want women who will allow them to lead them. And women in America just want to be the leader. As my mom said <laughs> growing up, it's too many chiefs and not enough Indians. <laughs> and I think that's. You know, not all. I think there are some, but I think what they're seeing the majority of is just not that. And they just don't, they feel like it's not enough. Yeah. And, and I agree with security bosses. Like, and it is traditional to make that adjustment if that tradition is ran stale or it's going to run to a round the cliff. All right, y'all, real quick, man. The the man of the hour is here, man. Let's give him a round of applause, man. Welcome you to the preseason properly, man. Because I, because I damn so got a couple questions right off the top of my head, man, that, 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 that we don't have to unpack. Um, you know, again, man, you come to be, you become known as like the face of this passport bros movement. Even though, even though I know you're on record saying that you don't, you, you never wanted it, you never claimed that. But fact is, you are. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, I want to get your, 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 your ideology as to why you feel so strongly about you know what hey man i'm about to get up out the states because you from texas and that's my state <laughs> and i already know the the again the multitude of women that are out here so for you to be out here experience that <clears throat> and say you know what this shit ain't gonna work i'm about to leave the entire country what's the thought process behind that bro uh, i just kept running into a bunch of bullshit i'm gonna say that and i went to brazil and i have not talked to anybody since i got back and now I'm not in the United States anymore because it's really that bad. Mm. I mean, where where is it that good at? 
You ever been in Houston? No, nah, I was in Dallas. Okay, we'll see that. What? 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 Yeah, Dallas, Dallas. Dallas got them too, though. Yeah. 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 My best friend lives in Dallas. Which, so, my, which, my girl from Dallas. Dallas. All that. Can I ask North Carolina? <laughs> South Carolina. Mm -hmm. um, ahead, I have South a question. Carolina. If you had one okay. chance in the U.S. to find like, a good-looking woman that is submissive and traditional, would you take it if, in the U.S.? No. <laughs> no, now, I, how I won't you, ever be back. You met someone? I know. Um, I understand his um, his firmness on not wanting to take a U.S. woman, even if she even even if she is traditional, because I've heard it out of my husband's mouth before. Like he said that um, if he were to he, like even me with my mindset, I still have um, modernization. I don't know the right word, like modernized thinking that I still have to grab a hold of sometimes in our um, real life situations between me and my husband. So what men don't want to deal with because he's told me they don't want to deal with this they don't want to deal with it in any aspect they don't want to have to argue they don't want to have to deal with the bad energy they don't want to have to deal with the disrespect because even a woman who is traditional i'm just using myself as an example i am traditional i want to stay home i want to have as many babies as my body can allow i want to cook every day three times a day four times a day however many times everybody needs me to cook i want to clean all day long I enjoy doing laundry. I enjoy um, doing whatever my husband asks me to do. It makes me happy when he asks me to do something for him. Like, um, I want to go above and beyond for him. So it's like, even me with that mindset, I still have my moments because of this place that I'm in, because of this country and the indoctrination that I had growing up, thinking that I am the prize and thinking that um, what I say should go and thinking that I should be in charge and living as an independent woman for so long is still on me sometimes. Even with these desires I have to be traditional, to follow my culture as an Israelite, and um, be a submissive wife. I still have these things that I have to combat. Um, some will call it the flesh. And I, w I have to combat these things sometimes on a daily basis. And so I imagine dealing with a woman who was brought up to know that she's supposed to serve her husband. Who was brought up to know that she's supposed to be a wife. That her value is in being a wife and a mother. And her value is in serving her man well. Um, she, her mind is in a whole, like, I, I, I've never met a woman like that. And so I don't even know what that kind of woman would look like, but I completely understand why a man will only want to deal with that kind of woman. Maybe he doesn't, like my husband said, if the woman isn't like me, already willing, already there. He doesn't want to have to teach her. He doesn't want to have to teach her how to be submissive or teach her how to um, be respectful. He, as my husband would say, I don't have time for that. So <laughs> I completely understand where this brother is coming from. Outside of uh, the United States, submissive, traditional, and good looking? Yeah, but I got content to make right now. so. Okay, so I you don't want to get married because you met yet, I'm 20, a, 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 a I'm marriage material and you didn't marry that person. I'm 23. Okay. Well, I didn't find a lot of material. They wouldn't. They wouldn't marriage material. They wouldn't shit. Actually, that's why I keep saying that. Well, then, what was the most? I don't know. I guess fucked up thing about them. Then, like, if you had just narrowed it down to some, some specific. They're not feminine at all. That's they. They like to argue. They call you bro. I'm not your fucking bro. I am not your bro. That is some shit my homeboys call me. <laughs> I always question that. Why do they call him bros? Well, I mean, as, I mean, especially being in, in Dallas, bro is, is, is slang down there. So they're going to they gonna throw that around. Just It ain't no excuse to call a man bro. He's not your bro. Unless you're talking about like Aki. Unless you're talking about like Ak. Like you speaking like brother, like my brother with respect then you don't need to be like hey bro like that's so mannish like whew, if you're talking like that as a woman and you think that you're going to get wifed up or you think that you're going to get chose outside of somebody just wanting to have sex with you you're very misunderstanding of what's really going on in life because like he said i'm not your homeboy i'm not your bro like that's some very and i'm i'm in dallas area now and so i know 
um, this slang. And uh, yeah, that's not feminine at all. It's it's not feminine at all. It's very masculine. It's not even a disrespectful way. That's just how they talk. But I mean, I could. I mean, I mean, I could definitely see the the point there. But again, mm -hmm. I, I just got issue with, but well, not issue, confusion with it being so many women in this state. And you saying that you couldn't find one that was feminine and cooperative, and not you know again calling you bro, being super super masculine, trying to trying to argue. Because I'm, I'm gonna be honest, man. I know a lot of women right off the top of my head who are just not like that, and I, and I think a lot of times. The like loud minority kind of skews people's mindsets. And again, I, I I don't I don't know your experience per se, but you are pretty young. Mm -hmm. But like throughout your entire time here, you're saying that you you never found one that was feminine, cooperative, look good, and who was and who was ready, who was willing to ride with you. Not one. So uh, running in a masculine women that don't treat you like, what would you say that does to your mind state? For me, it would make me want to adjust. Wait, he didn't answer the question. I wanted to get the answer. I'm about to get an answer. So when you run into a masculine woman that doesn't treat you right, what does that do to your mind state? Keep it pushing. That's not the woman for me. Move on to the next well, I'm not. One. I'm not asking. I'm not asking what is your response? What, what is that? How does that make you feel in the moment? You don't like Rejected. it. You go find something that you do like. Rejection. So what I'm hearing, what I'm hearing is, uh, Fuck your life up a little bit longer than get become a passport bro. Fuck your Fuck life up? Nope. You're, you're 23 and you need to go ahead and knock somebody up and get put on child support. So um, make sure you're careful. Be, be very careful. Because <laughs> you seem like you're living your life and you're enjoying yourself, but be careful. Just one other question. Oh, yeah, I know now. Uh, um, in these other countries with, the, with these women that you've dated, have you dated a woman that didn't? need you to or ask you to or require you to like do anything for her like she just rock with you and just pulled up and rock with you like this this is very interesting um <clears throat> i don't know if they caught this brother at the wrong time or what it was why he didn't answer the questions like i've seen him answer them before maybe he's just sick of having a discussion because honestly it's a very straightforward discussion he's not finding what he wants in the states and so he left the states and he's not coming back it's nothing wrong with this there's nothing wrong with this ideology even when i went into the comments and i'm reading the comments and the comments say like it's different men up in there saying like how they tried for so many years in america and then they left and went here or there and then they instantly within a year or within a few months found a woman who love who could love them and serve them and treated them like they've never been treated before and it's like how much do you hate men that you don't want men to be treated well this is all they're talking about they want to be treated well women think that all they're supposed to bring to the table is their pretty face and their pretty bodies and um that's it and their money and these are all things that men would surpass just to have they would talk to a ugly what people want to call a ugly uh, um, a not attractive woman who is submissive, who 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 got chicken bones stuck between her teeth all day long, who is submissive and respectful over a, a pretty BBL having or looking. Um, I be in the gym all day. I get money, boss babe, over a woman like that. And this is all that this man is saying. And I think he's just getting tired of saying it over and over again, because this is just his reality and it's a lot of men's reality just from reading the comments under this video it's a lot of men's reality the fact that they're good men probably what people would call simps probably what and simps can range like from an actual simp who is a man who just um caters uh, not caters to but like um worships the woman to a man who i believe this this guy this brother is probably would be called a simp because he just wants to treat a woman well and not get disrespected in the process so it's like men who are like that who are probably like not seen as cool or flashy and stuff like that they have less of a chance because all women tend to go after one kind of man so they're getting left on the back burner and talking to women who do not see their value and they're just getting sick of it i encourage y'all if y'all can't find a woman who will submit to y'all 
definitely get your passport and go find you one. Like, especially like, especially my brothers, like black men, I really feel for you because it's like, it seems like it's black women who having such a big problem. But one thing I noticed about people who tend to have reactions, like loud reactions to stuff, it's because something in them is feeling convicted or something in them is feeling attacked. So instead of evaluating that, why does it bother you so much that our men are leaving? Why are they leaving? You want to attack the man that's leaving. That doesn't make any sense. How does that solve anything? If if you want the man to stay, why not see what it is that the men want and then start being that? I don't know. That's just my opinion. Um, this is such an interesting topic. I can see this becoming more of a thing. I can see um, this leaking over into the women's side and women even deciding to leave. And just everybody deciding to leave because everybody's done. Like, this is a loud minority, the ones who are upset about a man leaving to find a good wife or a good woman. Like, I think as a whole, many people are getting sick and tired of the way that Americans and the West, the way that they think the way that they handle things the way that they value things everybody's just sick of it it's disgusting on a lot of levels is is um out of order on almost every level and people are just trying to get order back get families back get back to love and there's no real love here and i don't know that's just my opinion you know i appreciate you all for sitting with me today on this video and if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to the channel make sure you hit the notification bell so you can be notified the next time that i upload a video and let's get the conversation started below why do you think men are leaving do you think that um in order to find a good woman you need to get a passport or do you think there are any good women left here in america let me know i'd love to know your thoughts i appreciate you and shalom